morning besties welcome back to another vlog good morning for me and tinsel she hates being held i have had a pretty good morning i woke up at 7 15 laid in bed for a bit i usually do that for like five minutes just to wake up i changed i got my athletic greens and i headed on to the gym and i just got back from the gym right now i'm about to make some breakfast and matcha i've been so obsessed with matcha literally having it every single morning if you guys watch my previous vlog i mentioned that i ordered a bunch of stuff from david's tea so i thought i'd show you guys what i got so i got this blue bowl with the matcha whisk looking back i didn't need to get this because i do have the nespresso frother that can do a cold foam so i didn't really need to get this but i mean it's fun nice to have if i don't want to use the frother i don't know i just thought it was cute and then i got the david's tea ceremonial matcha my cat is crazy right <laughs> now she's flinging her spring everywhere um it comes in this like little tin in a plastic bag i just keep it in the plastic bag and then i got this perfect matcha spoon so i usually do two scoops the matcha is incredible i don't know how i would feel about like flavored matcha i know they had so many different options like coconut vanilla stuff like that i don't know if that's really my vibe so i just went with the ceremonial and then i can flavor it and sweeten it myself so i thought i'd show you guys in this vlog how i make my iced matcha latte because in the last vlog i showed you guys my hot latte but this one's different i get so excited to drink it it's so funny <gasps> oh my god look at you like oh. where are you going i just use coconut water and i fill that up just enough to cover the whisk and then i do two scoops of matcha a little bit of maple syrup and then to cold foam it you just hold it and it will show up blue and it's going to froth everything and mix everything together but in the meantime, I just got a mason jar with ice. Pour this mixture in. And then I top the rest with my oat milk. It just hits every single time. And you guys know me. I become very obsessed with a drink or a food and that's all I eat for like a month and then I find something new it keeps going in this cycle <laughs> so right now I'm on my matcha kick but before this I was on my shaken espresso kick you guys know the drill I have this every day <laughs> good morning guys happy Saturday I honestly don't even know what the purpose of vlogging was yesterday because I completely disregarded it after I vlogged my matcha and breakfast. So we're just going to continue it today. It is Saturday, 11.04 and I'm at Starbucks because I really am craving one and I usually treat myself to one. Okay, there's a car behind me. I didn't know. I'm like chatting up. Good morning. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing well. What can I get for you? Can I please get a grande brown sugar oat shake and espresso? Yeah, of course. That's everything. That's all? Yep. Awesome. You can drive one up. It's just 672. Thank you. Oops. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, I usually treat myself to Starbucks like every Friday, but I didn't go yesterday. Today's April 2nd. My birthday is tomorrow, April 3rd. I'm still going to get my birthday drink tomorrow, but I just really wanted Starbucks today. And that's it tonight i'm celebrating my birthday with all my friends i'm not sure how much i will vlog just because i'm really weird about vlogging with my friends i just find it like really uncomfortable and i just like keeping my channel about me if that makes sense if you guys do youtube you get it like sometimes it just can be really uncomfortable but i'm gonna try to vlog because i think it would be really fun to have it for memories 
But basically, everyone's coming to my house. We're going to pre-drink a little bit, and then we're going bowling, and then we're gonna come back to my house and like have pizza and drink more. And then at midnight, it will be my birthday. It's gonna be really fun. I got like a pinata. Roll the clips of me getting that a few days ago. Today is Wednesday and I'm celebrating my birthday on Saturday. I'm gonna have a few friends over and we're going bowling. It's gonna be really fun. So I got stuff to decorate for the party. We went to Party City, so I just got some pink cups for some drinks, beer pong, stuff like that. Pink napkins, a white tablecloth so nothing spills, and these happy birthday plates. There was a matching happy birthday banner to go with these plates that I had for my birthday, I think last year. And I thought I still had it, but I don't. So I didn't end up getting it when I was at Party City. So I need to go back and get it. But I'm not gonna do like balloons or anything, just keep it pretty minimal. And then we're gonna order pizza when we get back from bowling. But the star of the show, this was not planned, but I saw it in Party City and it honestly just looked so fun. <laughs> I got a cowboy boot pinata. Was this necessary? No. And I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, how it's gonna work, but I will make it work. It was only $24, which is not bad. And then to go with that, we got the stick. <laughs> and then I went with Maria, so we were like planning everything out there. And then we went to Dollarama and got a bunch of candy to fill the pinata with. So four packs of ring pops, Starburst, bubble gum, Jolly Ranchers, Rockets, Airheads, Hershey's, Kit Kats, and Smarties. This was pretty much all the options for individually packeted candies, which obviously you need for the pinata. So I don't think it will fill it up all the way, but it's whatever. I honestly think I'm gonna fill it now because why not? We don't have anything else to do right now. So let's do that. <laughs> Okay. okay, I just finished. I actually filled it up pretty nicely. I was scared it was not going to be that full, but you can kind of see there's only a few inches of space, which I feel like is good. I'm sad because a few of my friends can't come due to COVID, but I'm gonna celebrate with them next weekend, so it's fine. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm celebrating my birthday tonight, so oh, yeah, it'll happy be really birthday. fun. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Happy you too. Anyway. I don't know why that made me why that made me laugh so much, but I'm getting a call. Hello. Tomorrow. I am going to Party City because I need a birthday banner <laughs> because I thought I had one and I don't. Okay, I'm back. I got. The banner. This is one I had last year and then I got all the decorations to match this, but I didn't realize that I didn't have this anymore. But yeah, I don't even know what I was saying anymore because it got cut off by FaceTime and now I forget my train of thought. But basically, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. I'm like going to get ready with you guys. But the relationships in my life are like really special and important to me. So I kind of just like to keep that private. But... It is my birthday, so I'm gonna try. I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm like picking my outfit because there's not really much going on right now. So I'll talk to you guys in a few hours. Hi besties, several hours later, it is 6.03 and I just kind of touched up my hair a little bit and put the roller in for my bangs and I made a matcha to wake myself up a little bit. Just waiting for dinner to be ready, probably in about like half an hour, which will be perfect timing because my friend Maria and her boyfriend are coming 
between 6 30 to 7 to help me decorate i thought dinner was gonna be ready earlier so i was going to do my makeup after but looks like i have to do it before now which is fine i think i'm gonna wear foundation i don't normally do that but i'm kind of feeling it today and my face is all red because i've been like kind of stressed out about time but let's prep the skin moisturize i just started doing this recently and it's made such a big difference just to add even more glow i'm going to use my dream oil from youth to the people And I'm just going to put you guys on a time lapse because I really want to listen to music. So I'll see you guys on the other side. this top for probably like six months and i've been saving it to wear it on my birthday it is such a cute birthday top like are you kidding me it's from garage i don't know if they still sell it but if they do i will have it linked down below like come on <laughs> paired a few different necklaces with it and then i have on my wolf red leather pants now i need to decorate before everyone gets here i don't know why i'm so rushed i had all day to do this but that's just my life, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, show you guys my outfit. And I'm going to bring my film camera down for everyone to take pics. Here's the before. guys <laughs> this is awkward it's been four days later so obviously i did not really continue to vlog on saturday night and sunday like i said i just have a hard time vlogging with friends and to be completely honest it didn't even cross my mind i completely forgot that i was vlogging i was just living in the moment with my friends and that sucks because i did want to get footage for you guys but also I'm giving myself grace and I'm not mad at myself because I just wanted to be present. But basically, I think I already explained it, but we had a little pre at my house. We went bowling and then we came back to my house and did cake and I had pizza and all that good stuff. And then, like I said, some of my friends couldn't come. So I believe we're celebrating on Friday or Saturday. So coming up in a few days, I think we might go bowling again. And then I also have the pinata that we never used. So we can either use that on Friday or we can save it for the summer and use it if we have like a like a pool party. I think that'd be really fun if we like tie it to a tree. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I still want to post this vlog because I have not been uploading a lot of them lately and I'm trying to get back into them i go through phases with vlogging where it's pretty much all i post for weeks i'm on my main video grind right now i guess so i'm trying to get back into the vlog slowly but surely i honestly don't do a lot so it's really hard for me to make my life look interesting if that makes sense but i thought i would finish off this birthday weekend vlog with a what i got for my birthday haul i have something for my parents my brothers got me something and then a few of my friends did so starting off with my parents i usually just pick out or give them ideas of stuff that i want for my birthday and christmas just because it's way easier i don't know why i feel the need to explain myself right now but basically i asked for a duffel bag specifically the weekender bag from Bays. I believe is how you say it. There's a few different styles of the Weekender bag, but I just have the original one 
in the beige color i had a different duffel bag that i got from winners it was steve madden probably like three years ago but the zipper broke a few months ago and i was in need of a new bag so i was so excited to get this oh i need to change my battery one second okay i'm back sorry about that so like i said i got the weekender bag from bays because my other one broke i was trying to decide if i want a weekender bag duffel bag like this or if i wanted a cosmetic bag from bays but it was the better choice to get the duffel bag because i do not have one this came in black beige and gray but i just went for the beige color it is so beautiful what really sold me on this is there's a hardened compartment at the bottom where you can store shoes in so it's separate from the main bag. There's different sections in here. There's a slot for your laptop, two hooks, and a crossbody strap. But I also like that it is compactable. So it folds down pretty small and you could actually store this under your bed, but I personally keep it in my closet. One thing I really like about Bays is they sell complete sets. So eventually I want to collect like the luggage, the cosmetic bag, all that stuff. But we're gonna start off with this. It's just such good quality and I'm so happy that I got it. Moving on to my friends. Maria got me this adorable gold smiley face bracelet from Lisa Gosling. I've never tried this jewelry band before, but it is such good quality. It's the perfect shade of gold. And I just think it's really cute that we have matching jewelry for her birthday. I actually got us a matching bracelet and necklace. So I think it's really cute that we now have like another matching piece. Absolutely stunning. And I'm obsessed with it. I think it'll be really cute for spring and summer just to add a funky element to your jewelry. And then from Rochelle, she got me a few things. Firstly, she got me this candle and look how cute it is. It's a bestie candle. It has a wooden wick. I actually lit this last night on my side table while I was reading and it was such a vibe. The scent is cranberry peach vanilla. It smells so good. She also got me this lavender grow kit. I need to set this up still. I need to read the instructions. Maybe I will do that sometime this week. It's just absolutely adorable and she suggested that I could put it in my pillow. I used to have this really nice lavender sleep spray from Bath and Body Works, but I just never repurchased this. And it probably makes such a big difference having actual fresh lavender in your pillow. Then lastly, she got me a book I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's called The Mountain Is You by Brianna Weist. I'm currently slowly but surely reading the 100 essays that will change the way you think by this author. So that was really thoughtful. And this book is about transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery. Love it. Okay, and then from my brothers, they got me a Indigo gift card. My mom and I went to the mall on my birthday because she needed to grab a few things. And I thought I would just tag along with her and use my gift card. So I picked up four different books. You guys know I am so into reading right now. I'm already on book number five of the year. I'm trying to read two a month and I'm easily crushing that goal. I started off this year by saying one, but I'm really easily doing two. So I'm going to try to continue that as long as possible or honestly just see how many books I can read in a year. I'm trying, I'm hoping to get to like 24 or 20. I feel like 20 is a good number. I think I went to the mall a few weeks ago and I was browsing around Indigo and I took a bunch of photos of books that I wanted to pick up. So I was really happy when I got the gift card. So firstly is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This went viral on TikTok. I've heard it's such a good book and it's kind of giving me the same vibes. Not that I've started it yet, but when I read the back, it was giving me the same vibes as the Seven Husbands of Elvin Hugo, which I really enjoyed. It's by the same author. So very excited to read that. The next book was actually on TikTok as well. It's called The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. I honestly haven't read the back of it, but I've had a few recommendations. Why did I say that so weird? I've had a few recommendations on my Instagram to read this book and I trust your guys' judgment. So 
grab that one and then the next two books i actually haven't seen anywhere online i don't know what possessed me to pick these up and read the back but i'm really happy that i did they both involve paris i don't know why i have this like i don't know if it's a fantasy but like going to paris on vacation and like meeting someone there it is so random <laughs> but i feel like a lot of people think like that i picked up the paris connection by lorraine brown Sounds kind of cheesy, but I think that's exactly what I was going for and I'm really going <laughs> to enjoy this. And then next I picked up The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, which from the back seems like a thriller romance book. So I think I'm going to really like it. Let me know if you guys have read any of the books and how you enjoyed them and then i also got some money from my parents and my nanny so i grabbed a few things from lush when i was at the mall on my birthday with my mom so i thought i would also kind of throw those into this birthday haul so firstly i got a bubble bar i'm not sure what any of these are actually called i'll try to link them if you can even do that but I've been taking a lot of baths recently and I don't have any bath bombs or bubbles. So I picked up this bubble bar. It's like a cloud. It's super cute. And then I picked up two different bath bombs. Like I said, don't know what they're called, but thought this one was super cute. Probably going to use one of these over the weekend. And then I think this one is the Galaxy bath bomb. I don't know. I just go off of what they look like and the scents that was in them and they sounded amazing. I think I've only used a Lush bath bomb once or twice, but am I supposed to use the whole bath bomb in one sitting? Like, let me know. Or am I supposed to like take it out after a little bit and save it for next time? Please let me know because I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, also from one of my other friends, she got me a bottle of champagne. We never popped it, but I will do it eventually. It will go to good use. But that is actually everything that I got for my birthday. As of right now. Hi, I'm just popping in. I'm editing this video and I forgot to say that my brother's girlfriend got me a Starbucks gift card, which was really sweet. And I also just wanted to thank all of you guys for all of your birthday wishes. You guys made me feel so loved and I just like love and appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, I'm sorry this vlog was kind of uneventful in terms of you guys didn't get to really come along for my birthday party. But nonetheless, I hope you guys still enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in a few days in the video. Mm -hmm.